subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on our updates and get notified about our new videos. I searched Google for best mobile phone under 15,000. This is the search result that Google has displayed. If you look at the search results, you can see that some words are highlighted, they are in bold. What Google is telling us is it has found these words from my search query on these pages. Now if I change the search to best mobile phone under 15,000, the search result is now different and the words which are highlighted are also different. Now phones is appearing here. So what is happening here is Google is looking through the pages and trying to figure out which of the pages are most relevant to the search query that we entered. Google determines the relevance by looking at the content or what is on the page. Let us look at the first search result. The bold title here is called the SEO title of the page. Google uses SEO title to understand what is there on the page. So if you include the keyword in the SEO title, it is a signal to Google about which keyword the page is going to be relevant for. You can notice that for almost all the pages, the SEO title includes the keyword I have used in the search query. Let us look at the description included in the search result. This is the description for the search page. This is called meta description. When we create a page on the site, we add a meta description to the page. The meta description is used by Google to display in the search results. Ideally, we should include the keyword in the meta description. Google does not use meta description to rank your page or to understand the content on the page. The meta description is useful to people when they see your page in the search result. So I can read the description and understand what the page is about. But by itself, meta description does not impact the search ranking of your page. Let us explore this page in more detail. I have already opened this page here in this tab. The first thing I want you to look at is the URL of this page. You can see that in the URL, the keyword from the search query is included. This is the page heading and you can see that the keyword is included in the page heading as well. If I scroll down on this page, you can see that the specific keyword I was searching for is also included in the content of this page. So this is how you optimize a page for a keyword. When you optimize a page for keyword, what you are doing essentially is giving signals to Google about what is the content of the page. So you use SEO title, the URL, the page heading and the content on the page by including keywords in these elements on the page. So this process of optimizing your page for a keyword is called on-page SEO or on-page optimization. On-page optimization is critical for your page because it helps Google understand for which keyword it should include the page in the search result. Hey, thanks for watching. Do like the video, share it and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Check out exclusive coupon codes for our YouTube learners in the description and visit moneypalprolearn.com to redeem it.